Hi, today I'm reviewing the Marion May Vegan Blackberry Complex Cream Essence. And really quick, I just want to say, purchase all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsor ads or videos. So if you help support the channel, check out nobsb.com, check my Patreon community, or click on the links below. So there we go. I raised my eyebrows a lot. I, you know, people used to say I had Botox, but I didn't. But now I hear a thing about baby Botox, which is very popular. But anyway, I don't know. It all kind of freaks me out when you get needles that close to my eyes. So anyway, there we go. So I raise my eyebrows a lot. I try not to. But anyway, okay, so totally random notes. So, okay, containing 50,000 part per million of blackberry extract and 100,000 parts per million of blue lotus water, this vegan cream essence provides soothing, anti-aging, and hydrating effects. Additional ingredients of jojoba seed oil and ceramide MP help fortify the skin barrier while amping up moisture levels. This dermatology dermatologically tested product is suitable for sensitive skin to use shake bottle thoroughly to mix the cream and essence layers before applying a moderate amount onto face. And I say this a lot, but the dermatologically tested thing doesn't mean anything at all. It doesn't. It's marketing jargon. I mean, it's not a bad thing. It just doesn't mean anything. So... Okay, so Lincoln has left the building. Elvis has left the building. Okay, so this is a newer product from Mary May. I really like this brand. They have a lot of fragrance-free serums and ampules. However, most of their other products are not fragrance-free, although they do have a black. I like this Blackberry line that they have. The Blackberry Serum, wonderful. The Blackberry Cream, wonderful. Um, okay, so packaging. No issues with the packaging. We've got a... Glass bottle, it's recyclable. The packaging is pretty though, I will say. Because um, the water like is purple. It's pretty. It's like dark purple. What, what what kind of color would that be like? Not lavender, but anyway, it's like, Pink. no, like what's dark purple? I don't know. I always see it listed on clothes. Like, like, uh, anyway, like all of is like dark green. What do they call dark purple? Whatever. Anyway. Leave it in the comments below. Leave it in the comments below. I'm not good at my Pantone shade listings, so. Okay, so no issues of packing packaging. In terms of denatured drying types of alcohol, it does not contain any of those. Uh, when we get to fragrance, it's kind of a gray area here. It has no scent. And I think on the packaging of things they mentioned, it is fragrance-free. Um, technically... I wouldn't technically consider it fragrance free. I would consider it unscented because it has no noticeable scent. But it does contain Gardenia Florida extract. I think it's becoming one of the hip new ingredients because I'm starting to see it pop up a lot of places. For most people, it's not going to be an issue because um, that Gardenia Florida extract is both an antioxidant, but it also has a fragrance component to it. Um, in the amount they used in this product, it's so low that I think it probably has more antioxidant benefits. Although if you have very, very sensitive skin, it could be a potential issue. So um, I think for most people, I'd say probably 99 out of 100, not gonna be an issue, probably more than that. But it could be for very sensitive skin. So I, I'm just starting to see the ingredient pop up and it's one of those that is good, but it also is fragrant, kind of like tea tree oil. It can be very beneficial or rosemary oil, but it also can be irritating, so. Thankfully, vanillin is my favorite fragrance ingredient and it actually has just the antioxidant component. It has a scent, but there's no irritation from it. So anyway. Okay, manufacturing location for this one is Korea, so no issues with that. God, when I had a friend that lived in Korea, I wish I would have went and visit her, visited her because, you know what, although it would have been wasted because I wouldn't have been into skincare at the time anyway, but I wish she still lived there. But I remember I was going to go visit her and I looked at tickets for like $8,000. I'm like, I don't have any money. How am I going to get there? I, and, you know, her apartment would have been so small anyway. But I still should have done it. But $8,000 is like, it's like the price of my car. Anyway, whatever. Okay. Uh, ease of use. Let me do a quick pH test for everybody that wants to know. Do, do, do. There we go. So the pH for this one looks to be pretty close to 6, so no issues with that. That is just fine. Um, okay, so shake it, obviously, to mix mix it. You know, it already came shaken today, so you didn't really get to see the layers, but uh, before you can see the layers. 
So you want to shake it to mix the different components, the oils and the water. Uh, and then you can pat it on the skin with your hands or you can pour it onto a cotton pad and then use it that way. I don't recommend the cotton pad thing. This is more of an essence than like a toner. Like a lot of essences and toners are very similar. They're liquid. You can apply them either way. This one just is special in the fact that I just think it's better padded on. If you want to use a toner with a cotton pad, use something different before this. Um, just because otherwise you're just kind of wasting it. So then you just pat it onto your skin. Wonderful hybrid essence texture. Uh, combining a cream and a liquid and oil all into one. Pat it on the skin. Um, and then if you pat it on the skin, a little bit goes a very long way. Like one, one little shot of it is enough for the whole face and neck. So um, it is very hydrating. It takes a while to absorb. For that reason, I like using it in my evening routine. Not quite as much in my daytime routine, although getting in these drier months, I have a feeling um, I will start liking it more in my morning routine as well. But I haven't gotten to that stage in the winter yet so okay so there we go with that it does take a while to absorb so okay antioxidants and beneficial ingredients so we've got that blue lotus flower which is a hydrating and skin condition ingredient we've got ho jojoba seed oil which is the emollient and berry repairing ingredient blackberry fruit extract great antioxidant as well as astringent ingredient astringent means that it soaks up oils uh, we've got centella asiatic extract which is antioxidant skin soothing and hydrating Fig fruit extract is a nice hydrating ingredient. Sodium hyaluronate, humectant. It's in everything because I say it in every video now. Uh, hydrogenated lecithin is a good emollient. Ceramide and pea, skin identical ingredient and bear repairing ingredient. And then vitamin E, antioxidant emollient and photoprotective ingredient. So not a crazy long list of ingredients, but short, good, beneficial, hydrating, antioxidant ingredients. Very impressive list. I really like it. Um, okay, in terms of animal testing, this is vegan as well as cruelty-free, so no issues with that. For performance, I really like it. So there we go. It's kind of absorbing now. Really does a nice job. I will say, if you have skin that tends to be oily or already hydrated, um, your skin may end up feeling or looking a little shiny or slightly greasy. Uh, for me, with my dry skin, it's not an issue, but it does take a little bit of time to fully sink in. So if you have oilier skin types, I have a feeling it might take even a little bit more time you'll notice for it to really sink in. So, um, which is probably why I like using this in the evening as opposed to the morning routine where it could end up making my face feel a little bit too hydrated by the end of the routine. So uh, for acne prone skin, there's two ingredients of note, uh, jojoba seed oil and vitamin E. So for price, this is the full size, five ounces, 150 milliliters, retails for about $27, and a little bit goes the longest way with this one. It is so emollient and hydrating. Uh, a little bit of it goes a very long way, especially if you pat it on instead of using a cotton pad. So I think it's pretty affordable that in that way. Um, even better if you can get it on sale at one of the K-Beauty sites. Uh, then in terms of the It Factor, really nice, really unique, uh, hydrating cream essence product. Nice option for dry or normal skin or just winter time. Uh, this gets a lot of comparisons to the Dr. Sirical Vega Kombucha Tea Essence, uh, which it's very similar in the fact that the packaging is nearly identical and the uh, cream essence liquid is very similar and the hydration level amount from them are very similar. So it does have a lot of similarities in that way. And the good ingredients in there that they both used. So, um, anyway, the 10 being a perfect score, you give this one a 9. The only little issue is that Gardenia Florida extract, which does have benefits to it. So, uh, if I had half points, I'd give it a 9.5. But, anyway, we'll have to have a board meeting and see if we can change it to half points or something. So, uh, anyway, interesting hearing from you guys they had to ch if you had a chance to check this out or not, and if you have what your thoughts are, or if you have any Marion May product favorites, uh, what are they and what do you love about them? Leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys. And stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.